for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sports 7 gh it's always a great pleasure to have you join us in this video in fact this is another day the almighty god has made let us be glad and rejoice in it psalm 118 verse 24 david said that now let's go straight into the issues black stars legend and captain former captain asamu jan has finally fired <laughs> black stars players after nigeria super eagles qualified to the quarterfinals of the ongoing african cup of nations 2023 and if you look at the nigerian team what a team what a solid team nigeria has only conceded one goal in the tournament having played four games in just oh my goodness that is remarkable from the nigerian team you specifically look at the nigerian team you look at what asamwajan has revealed and said and then also we will look at um <laughs> nigerians the way nigerians they throw Ghanaians, you know in fact they're them really the cook as par on all social media handles and we are going to talk to you about some of the issues nigeria um they are using to cook and um troll Ghanaians um on all social media handles it was a very interesting night yesterday after nigeria qualified to the quarterfinals of the um african cup of nations 2023 after a fantastic showpiece from victor oshime and ademola lukman maza yeah was well, switching of nationality and yeah was well, switching of nationality and then mola lukman switched nationality from england to play for the super eagles and um he's doing very well so far so very good in fact he he's single no he's not single-handedly he has his two goals has helped nigeria to qualify to the quarterfinals of the african cup of nations ghana dear we switched nationality maybe in recent times but for Ke kevin prince watten when they switch the nationality we don't really see top but we'll talk about all of those issues do all to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying now angola okay angola will play versus nigeria in the quarterfinals of the african master nigeria man, you have a trophy, no. nigeria can easily win the trophy because if you look at the route they are on there Look, Nigeria, maybe the semi-final contest will be a difficult one, all right? But the quarterfinals, there, Maza, they can beat Angola and beat them all. Especially when they are not conceding, but they are scoring. If they score you one, it's very difficult for you to score them back. Now, they, they've considered just one goal in the tournament, and that came from Equatorial Guinea in their first game. Okay, since then, they've not conceded again. And yesterday, they dismantled Cameroon 2-0 comfortably to qualify to the next round of the quarterfinals in fact the v v v VR crowd is allowed in nigerian guzu it would have been more so it tells you how good the nigerian team is and that is what we keep telling we will connect the nigeria to the blasters ah because ghana and nigeria they, we are friends everybody we know so if we talk to you about defending now we we always tell chris chris you that defending is not about numbers defending is, is about the quality of your defenders look you can even use three defenders per Three solid defenders to defend. And that's the point. But this, our Blasters coach there, or former Blasters coach, and this, the Blasters team there, when we are winning, instead of them to attack more and get more goals, they say that, oh, they bring on more defenders, more defenders. They go and sit back. They sit back, oh, they sit back, and then they say that, oh, attack me, attack me. But Nigeria is not like that. You, you see proper control of game. In fact, if you are controlling the game, you are defending. So you are leading 1-0, but you are passing the ball around. You are passing the ball around. That is a way of defending. The time is going. But if you say that, no, I have scored one goal. So I'm going to sit back, open and take the ball. Attack me, attack me. The more the person attacks, the more the team attacks, the more they create more chances and they will score you. So I'm saying that the Nigeria, what Nigeria are doing, you know, we, that is what we should have been doing. Score one goal, hold the ball, control, possess, control, attack, come back, defend, smoke. That is what we do. And I don't I don't understand. But that is how things are. And in the Nigeria story, now nah, people are talking about Ahmed Musa, the capital of the side, the, the senior man of the side. Now, Ahmed Musa hasn't played any game since the, the tournament started, but he's so happy supporting Nigeria. And that's why people are connecting to Ghana. Ghana, there, we have the DIU. Instead of us to bench him, no, we are saying that, oh, he's making records, so let's come and play him. Oh, he will play 45 minutes. Oh, this. Ahmed Musa, very senior man. He has won the African Cup of Nations before under uh, Stephen Keshi. 
and he promised na the people of Nigeria that look with their support and everything they can go very far and try to win this one too and Ahmed Musa yesterday you could see from his emotions that he is very excited for the team he's supporting the team wholeheartedly even though he's not playing even though he's not getting in it but Ghana dear in Ghana, Ghana, just for I that is why I say that looks like our coaches who come, they are scared of the Dayu because I'm not sure the Dayu will come and say that by force play me, he will not do that. But the coaches, nah, that's like, they are scared of they, they want him to play. I don't understand because the Dayu is if Ahmed Musa, maybe he will be better than they, because the Dayu, the play what type of football is he playing right now? But by force, Ghana, we will say that, oh, we will play him. You can leave your thoughts and comments below, okay? You can leave, whatever you don't agree with me, you can let them, you can let me have them in the comment section, okay? Don't worry, cry. You can fire me, you can do whatever you want to do. But I'm saying what I think, uh, I'm saying. So, that is the Ahmed Musa story, and that has also been trending um, since yesterday. Now, let's move from the Nigeria issue some more and come to Salisu Mohammed before we go back to Nigeria and then Asamwejan, as well as the Black Stars. Now, um, Salih to Mohammed after they gave us this Mozambique, you no, know, he had confrontations with the media, with the Ghanaian media. After the media were booing them and was saying that look, you guys, you are sham players, you cannot play well and all of that. Salih to Mohammed said that hey, you feel like come, I will, I will punch you like you can see something. So he, he obviously wanted to attack the media in, in um, who were there, the Ghanaian media who were there. And um, right now, no, he has come back to apologize that, look, his actions was very bad and he is very um, deeply sorry. But the emotions and everything, people were threatening him and things. So, um, but then he's very sorry and he hopes that going forward, no, he can do very well for the Black Stars and then um, win games for the Black Stars. So, Salis Mohammed has come back to apologize. Let's forgive him and move on. Don't say that because of that, he will not play the Black Stars again. Salisu is about one of our best players and that's the truth. Played for AS Monaco yesterday. He played for them in the I think two two draw or so. So um, Salis Mohamed here, we cannot let him out of the of the Black Stars. Okay, so let's forgive him and let's move on. It was emotions. What has the emotions there? You can act anyway. So that's the South Tensor. Now Asamuchan is a fantastic legend of the Black Stars, and yesterday he had to say on the Nigerian team, and this is what Asamuchan had to say. He says that look, um, Oshime plays with passion. <laughs> That's what every country wants their players to do. Be as on Ghana, I ain't on a Ghana. So, and I agree with Asamoja, Masa. I agree. Gidi gidi ah. Now, if you look at the Blasters players who play, in fact, Alexander Jiku played with passion. Kudus Mohammed played with passion. Ah, the last game you could see that Kudus is hurt. Ah, Kudus, Kudus. Ah, Masa, why, why can't we do? Even the Egyptian game, he has scored two goals. Now, still now we've considered you could see that Kudus is playing with passion, but chunk of the Blasters players were not playing with passion, so they don't care. Baba Idrisu, he doesn't really care. Oh, yeah, I don't pass now. Say, oh, they don't care, they don't really care. What is this? The Nigerian players are playing with passion, and yesterday, if you watch the game, Oshiman, look at Oshiman, Maza, he, he, he will press you, get the ball, ensure that the ball is a chance for Lukman, and Lukman will score. Pure passion on play. Even after the game, everybody was singing, Oshiman, Oshiman. He was also enjoying himself because he knows that he has done it for the people of Naples. Napoli, he's won the league for them. He has to win something for Nigeria. He's passionately, he knows that, look, this is my time. I am the African best footballer of the year or calf best footballer of the year. I have to do something for my nation, Nigeria. And Oshiman, you can see that, look, there is pure passion at play. He's trying to kill himself for the people of Nigeria. But Ghana here, lack of that second approach. That, 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 uh, you hold the ball and they will foul him. And oh, God, guy, they are to Oto. Now, the, the Massa, 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 Massa. Black Stars players going forward, we want to see pure passion from you. Pure passion. We want to see huge commitment. Commitment to the cause. Commitment to the goal that we are winning the trophy. That is what we want to see from you going forward. And not like a Dasika approach. You say, oh, I'll pass the ball. I'll not pass. I'll come and defend. I'll not come and defend. If they beat us, they've beaten us. I don't care. I'm going to my class. I, yo, we will not tolerate that again. And that is what the senior man Samuel Jan is saying. The Oshim, ah, yesterday, look at Oshiman. 
Look at Ademola Lukman. Look at Calvin Bassi. Look at um, Trust Econ of Nigeria. All the players of Nigeria. Solid, solid, solid players. Doing very well for their teams. That is what every national team, not only Black Stars, every national team expects their players to do. And for us in Ghana here, that is what we expect our players to do. So let's look at the, 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 the ratings of Nigerian players. So um stanley in wabali yes he had 6.7 as the goalkeeper um, and all the players most of the players with seven um over seven ratings semi irg um had 7.1 um william trust the corn 7.2 calvin bassi 8.2 um ola aina had 7.1 frank onyeka 7.0 alex iwobi 6.6 um, Zaidu Sanusi had 6.4 and Mosi Simon 6.8 Victor Oshiman 7.4 and then Ademola Lokman 8.8 after scoring two goals for the team. Now, if you want to go to social media, the Nigerians they are throwing Ghanaians. Ah, yeah, Ghana Jolof, Ghana Jolof, a good zoom. Ghana Jolof is no more nice because you are home and you are watching Nigerians qualify to the quarterfinals of the African Cup of Nations 2023. And that was all what they were saying. Look, <laughs> true, 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 true. Nigeria, for they have a personal beef with Ghana. Everybody knows. So last time in Cameroon, no, Ghana were eliminated in the group stage. Nigeria, when they went to the round of 16, and they were eliminated. You get it. So this time, no, as Ghanaians, they, they them they home, no, they were looking forward to Nigerians getting eliminated, but it didn't happen. So as the Nigerians qualified, no, they threw the fire. On Ghana and look, learn football because Nigeria are flourishing. But Nigeria, they know that if we meet them right now, we'll beat them. If we meet them right now, even as our team is not good, oh, but they remember 2022 World Cup. You don't, Nigeria, don't you remember? We beat you, we qualified to the World Cup, you were home, you were watching us. Yes, that's how things are. So, <laughs> Stop throwing us, okay? We will come back stronger. We will make sure that the blasters will take the right decisions and come back stronger. Thank you very much for staying with us. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Yami Shrubia.